distinction between capital expenditure and revenue expenditure. There will be three columns. The first one is for basis, second is for capital expenditure, third one is for revenue expenditure. Basis, the first basis of a distinction is purpose. In case of a capital expenditure, the purpose is it is incurred for acquisition of a fixed assets for use in business. In case of a revenue expenditure, the purpose is it is incurred for running of a business. Second one is the capacity. The basis, second basis of distinction is capacity. In case of a capital expenditure, it increases earning capacity of the business. Whereas, in case of a revenue expenditure, it is incurred for earning profits. The capacity is to earn profits, not to increase earning capacity of the business. Third basis is period. For capital expenditure, it benef its benefit extends to more than one year. Years together, the capital expenditure gives benefit to the business. Whereas, in case of a revenue expenditure, its benefit is existed within the year. Within one year, the benefit is existed. Then, fourth one, fourth one is debited. The basis is debited. What is, what is debited? To which account it is debited? In case of a capital ex expenditure, it is debited to an asset account. Say, machinery account debited to bank account. We are buying the machinery for check by giving issuing a check that is machinery account debited to bank account. Whereas, in case of revenue expenditure, it is debited to an expense account. Say, rent account debited to cash account, paid rent by through cash. It is rent account debited to cash account. Then fifth one will be nature of account. Nature of account in case of a capital expenditure, it is an asset account. It is an asset account. Say we are buying assets, car, land and building, plant and machinery. Here, the nature of account to which it is debited or maintained for the purpose of a capital expenditure, it is a it is an asset account. Whereas in case of revenue expenditure, it is an expense account. It is a nominal account. Then the sixth one, sixth one is depreciation. In case of a capital expenditure, it is shown in the balance sheet. Depreciation is deducted from the assets of the asset side of the balance sheet. Hence, it is shown in the balance sheet. In case of a revenue expenditure, it is shown in the trading or profit and loss account. Then seventh one. Seventh one is examples. The examples of a capital expenditure are cost of land and building, furniture and fixture, plant and machinery, motor cars, etc. Whereas the example of a revenue expenditure are depreciation on furniture and fixture, depreciation on land and building, salary paid, rent paid, or rent payable, etc. These are the examples of revenue expenditure. Hence, these are the distinction between capital expenditure and revenue expenditure.